coffee, the bean of life. This tiny bean has sparked revolutions, controversy, creativity, and even slavery as it spread across the globe. Popularly referred to as brown gold, this small bean has enormous political, social, and economic impact on human beings. The global coffee industry of the modern world is booming. Coffee is the most widely traded agricultural commodity in the world today. More than 50 countries worldwide grow coffee, providing an estimated 100 million jobs through cultivation, processing, and economic trade. Coffee is the second most valuable commodity legally traded, second only to oil. Even though coffee is so prevalent in the world today, little is known about the history of coffee. How, when, and where coffee was discovered is still a topic of fascination today. However, in legend, coffee traces its roots to the ancient Ethiopian plateaus. Supposedly, an Ethiopian goat herd named Kalbi, meaning hot in ancient Arabic, noticed his goats behaving frantically after eating red berries from a nearby bush. He then ate these berries for himself and found that he became filled with energy and began to dance in the countryside with his goats for the rest of the day. What Kalbi found were coffee cherries. Yes, that's no mistake. What we consider coffee beans are actually more of a pit or a seed of a coffee cherry than really being an actual bean. Eventually, knowledge would spread of this particular bean and it would come to be traded out of the port of Mocha and then cultivated in Yemen. From Arabia, coffee would be traded globally across the five continents. Similarly, there is legend around the arrival of coffee in India. According to this legend, Arabica coffee was first introduced to India by a Muslim holy man by the name of Baba Budin around 1600 AD. On his way back from his pilgrimage to Mecca, the Muslim holy man hid seven coffee beans and snuck them with him from Yemen. He then planted these beans and raised them in hermitage around the hill ranges near Chikmagalore in the state of Karnataka, originating in India. However, evidence suggests that coffee was introduced by Arab traders into India in about 1600 AD. Once entering India, coffee was praised for its qualities. A poet at the court of Mahanjir praised it by proclaiming, Coffee is pleasing to princes. The waters of Kadir is concealed within. In the gloomy kitchen filled with its smoke, the coffee pot seems like the source of life. Coffee slowly became a much desired commodity within India, then also a largely cultivated product by the Indians. Cultivation of coffee was confined to individual backyards until the late 1820s when the British began to implement plantation systems on a commercial scale in South India. Coffee production advanced rapidly under the plantation system and by the 1860s, production of coffee reached approximately 30,000 metric tons, which in layman's terms is around 66.1 million pounds of coffee beans. From this excess, different companies and varieties of coffee began to take hold. In the 1870s, the variety Krugs, or Coors, sorry, became widely available, as well as Kent's and Jackson's Hybrid. The economics of coffee would prove to be volatile to the market as the Great Depression took hold. This coupled with World War II and restrictions on the export of coffee crippled its cultivators and processors. However, soon after World War II and the momentous movement for Indian independence, the production and market for coffee exp expanded exponentially. Today, 13 different varieties of coffee can be identified based on their origins, as well as three exclusive unique varieties that are making a mark on the international market, such as Monsoon Malabar, Mysore Nuggets, and Robusta Kapai Royale. Generally, there are two standard types of coffee, Arabica and Robusta, identifiable for their flavors and strength. Coffee growing regions are divided into three categories of traditional, non-traditional, and northeastern regions, but most product comes to be produced out of southern India. One particular variety of coffee is South Indian filter coffee. This filter coffee is similar to what we consider a latte, but with added ingredients such as chicory giving it its signature taste. Also, 
the coffee called Monsoon Malabar is exported in great quantities to Europe. Named for the natural aging by the monsoon winds that causes the bean to swell, this is a particularly alluring coffee to Europeans. Coffee is an integral part of not only India, but of the world. This tiny bean connects cultures through unique, flavorful experiences and diverse blends creating coffee addicts and Starbucks everywhere. PBS said it best. If there ever is a civilization on Mars, one of the first things to open up will be a coffee house. Thank you.